Welcome to this Windows 10 and computer channel and we take a look once again at some uh, settings and the settings app as by popular demand. I've had a few people ask me to go and run down the different settings and explain them on videos. So today we're going to talk about the settings that have to do with notifications and actions. Notifications and actions app are away from Windows 10 to actually give you information about something happening. It could be an app that has something that it wants to tell you. It could be, for example, Twitter. Maybe you're following someone you want to know and be up to date of what's happening. Then you can have a quick action notification about that. Um, it could be via your phone, if you have your phone app installed and so on. Uh, there's a lot of things happening here. There's a lot of notifications that can actually happen uh, for example, notifications when you download an app from the Microsoft Store is going to tell you it's downloading and it's finished, stuff like that. So how do you control the notifications? How do you, you remove the notifications if you don't want them? And of course, they always appear on the bottom right as little uh, bubbles that pop up and say, hey, um, you know, you got a notification from this, from that. Or when you click the quick actions on the bottom right, you will see them displayed here by order of notifications. How do you actually manage your notifications? Well, when you click the act quick action center, you notice that on the upper right corner, manage notifications is there. You can click that, brings you to the settings app in notifications and quick in actions. If you don't go through there, you can of course go through the start menu, go into the settings gear, and then in the settings, go into system, and on the left side, you will have notifications and actions. What do you have in here as control? Well, first of all, there's the top that is quick actions. Quick actions are the buttons that you see. So when you click on the quick action center, you see I've got some buttons here that I have selected. And these can be, of course, customized to the ones you want. How do you do that? Well, you click edit your quick actions. It will pop up this little panel again, but this time you see that the little pins tells you that what you have pinned or not. You can remove a uh, an item by simply clicking on the pin, and that removes that item from your notifications. To add some stuff, just click the Add button and choose the ones that you want to add to your buttons. And once that is done, all you have to do is click Done, and it will be automatically this uh, series of buttons that you've chosen that will be in here. And that's nice to actually customize these buttons the way you want. Then you've got notifications. So the general on-off button for notifications is the first one at the top. Turn this off, and no app will give you notifications anymore and the, and the uh, quick action center on the bottom right or on the right of your screen. If that's what you want, just put this off and you're okay. No more notifications. If you keep it on, you can manage your notifications of what you actually want or not. And this is by looking at the different options. First one, show notifications on the lock screen. That tells you if you want to have some of the notifications, even when your computer, you're logged out of your account, but you are on your lock screen, there are some notifications that can pop up. Show reminders of incoming voice over IP calls on the lock screen. If you use voice over IP for making calls, well, this is uh, one option that actually can show on the lock screen. Actually, I believe it actually uh, can even make you um, uh, answer calls on the lock screen without having to actually log in to your account. Allow notifications to play sounds. This means if there's a notification, it's going to play a little something, a little sound to let you know. This is good if you're not looking at the computer screen and a notification does arrive. Well, it's going to give you that sound. Show me the Windows welcome experience after updates. This I removed. This is a um, simply, it actually opens up the, the web browser and uh, shows you or tells you, well, welcome to the new version of Windows. Here is what's new. So uh, this is occasionally appearing, but mostly when there are big updates. You can have it on or off. I have it off. I don't need those suggestions or anything. The one I have off also is because it gets annoying sometimes. Get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. 
you know, these are little bubbles. I was going to say, for example, oh, have you tried your phone app? You know, you can link your phone and blah, blah, blah. Or have you tried going to the, you know, uh, settings app for blah, blah, blah. It gives you all sorts of suggestions. It's not that it's bad, but it's, you know, over time it gets annoying. It's like that little clippy in the old versions of Word almost. So I have this off personally. And then you'll have the notifications that come from your computer apps or your phone apps. And these can be managed one by one. So if you keep notifications on, you can choose what apps are giving you notifications. So go down the list and remove the ones you don't want to have notifications. And you can add the ones that maybe weren't on. By default, every app that can send notifications are on. That means you might not want that. That means you might want to start choosing which apps are giving you notifications and keep only the minimum that you really, really want. And of course, you can switch all of them off, but keep the general switch on, which means you'll only have specific notifications of uh, you know a few things from Windows itself. So go through the app, and of course, uh, you see here via your phone, I'll, if you link your phone with uh, the phone app and phone uh, companion on Android, of course, apps on your phone can send you notifications through Windows. So you might need to check out also what is sending out notifications to your PC. So that's pretty much what there is. All I have to do is simply go down and make sure that you uh, uh, choose which apps are actually getting notifications or not on your computer. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.